Hello, St. Lawrence family. My name is Kayla, and I want to share with you about our gospel for the day, which comes to us from John chapter 16. And I'll just start by reading the first, the first verse here. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. And Jesus here is telling the disciples about his coming death and resurrection. He's telling them about Calvary and, and that three days later uh, he, would, he would rise. And, and it's his promise of, that he would return. So he's telling us about that. He perhaps is also kind of foretelling and sharing about what's to come after his ascension until his second coming. That you will not, no longer see me, but you will see me again. And that's kind of the beautiful piece of scripture is that it uh, it can often speak to multiple things. It's not just this initial fulfillment. That's the only way God intends for us to hear it. But but he can tell us things about every every age. And that's why we can still read the Psalms and, you know, whatever other piece of scripture and have it hit our hearts. And I would say that in our passage today, perhaps there is there is another layer here of what Jesus is speaking to us about. Beyond the initial fulfillment of his death and resurrection, beyond his promise of his second coming, that I think the Lord would want to speak to us that there's going to be times in our lives where it seems as though he's in the tomb. And what I mean by that is, is there's going to be times in our lives where it's hard to see Christ. It's hard to know how God is working in a particular situation, or it might feel as though God is, is far from us. And in those moments, we need to heed these words again, a little while and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. This is Christ's promise to us that whatever we're up against, whatever we're facing, however far God might feel to us, that his promise is that we will see him again. We have a God who has risen, who is alive and active always. And, and when we hear those words, if we can learn to trust them more and more, we can find ourselves living in the promise that he shares you know, at the very end of our gospel later on in this reading when he says, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. So Lord, we ask that of you right here and right now that you would teach us that our grief can become joy, that you would pour out the gift of hope that we would come to trust in your promises now and always. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Hi, my name is Father Jake Anderson. I'm the pastor here at St. Lawrence Catholic Church in Newman Center. I'm so grateful that you're able to, uh, to just watch some of these videos. Um, we certainly have a lot of content. We're putting out videos every day. Uh, so just encourage you to do a little exploration and, and find that what we're offering to stay connected as the Catholic Church here at the U of M.